30s and hoping to get a shot to play overseas can still sign with the EWP? Example, Terence Romeo, Kiefer Abena, Ray Parks Jr. Is it possible, ma'am? Well, anything is always possible. I mean, we're always open to conversations. Um, we're Bago ka ba sa channel na to, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga upcoming videos ko. Maraming salamat. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat mga sir at welcome sa ating panibagong video dito sa From the Sideline. Ako nga pala si Kino. Yes sir, mabuhay kayong lahat. Kay Soto. Cholo Ano Nuevo at yung latest edition na si Kobe Paras ay ilan lamang sa mga natutulungan ng East-West Private na dalhin ang kanilang karera sa basketball into the next level. At speaking of EWP, nabigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na ma-interview si Miss Patty Scott. Kasama ang aking mga kapatid sa Last 2 Minutes Podcast, narito ang ilan sa aking mga naging katanungan dito kay Miss Patty. Miss Patty, aside from Kai and Nacholo, we have lots of young and potential basketball players here in the Philippines. How do East West Private select the players to train with the EWP? Uh, you know, that's a great question. Um, we focus on actually several criteria. It's not just what's on the court. It's also what's inside the heart and what's uh you know in their mind both mentally and physically you know it's one thing to have skill and will right um and high basketball iq and you can't teach height right so all of that is just a part of what it is but at the end of the day it, it's like what's your attitude right what what do you want to do with your life um, besides basketball, right? Like, are you giving back to your community? Are you, you know, where are you wanting to go with things? So it, it's drive and, and actual mental toughness to us is much more important at times than physical, right? The basketball skills for most successful athletes, um, or even outside of basketball, whether it's you know, hockey, soccer, weightlifting, um, track, you know, most have honed their skill extremely well. Can they take it to another level? Absolutely. You know, everybody can always take their skill to another level. But more importantly, do they have the mental fortitude to want to do it? And not just do it part way, but really grind, giving it everything that they have and then some on top of that. It, it's tough. I mean, Chola will tell you in a day's period of time, like, you know, there are days that your body physically doesn't think it's going to make it, but you mentally have to be strong and want to carry on. Not need to carry on, but want to carry on. Uh, aside from a uh, young baller prospect here in the Philippines, is it possible that some of our skilled professional basketball players with the age of uh, 25 to 30s and hoping to get a shot to play overseas can still sign with the EWP? Example, Terence Romeo, Kiefer Abena, Ray Parks Jr. Is it possible, ma'am? Well, anything is always possible. I mean, we're always open to conversations. Um, we're always open to talking with players, understanding what their dreams and goals are. And again, as I said earlier, you know, we're very honest, like we're going to be truthful, we're going to ask questions, and we're not going to lead someone on. So can't really get specific unless, you know, but, but individually speaking, um, just like with Cholo, you know, he's very clear on what his options are. And um, we hope to be there to guide to help him make the best decisions, both for him and his family. Um, but every conversation is different. Question to Miss Patty. Uh, Miss Patty, can ex can we expect more Filipino basketball players in the East West Private in the future? Well, I absolutely hope so. <laughs> we uh, 
every single day we love getting messages and inboxes from uh, both kids, young men, parents, young women, um, women. So we are always looking for um, anyone who wants to join the family, both uh, male or female. So um, 